Hey everybody, Tim DeWire from South Australia on a lovely Sunday here in SA and it's obviously Sunday where you are too. So anyway, hey guys, love to have a chat with you today. And uh, so I grabbed a beer and so cheers to you on having a beer. Ah, yes, I can feel that doing the vocal cords good as we go along. All righty. Well, the stuff I'm bringing to you over the next few weeks is not for doom and gloom purposes. It's not for fear purposes. This is for you to get some knowledge, get some heart about you. So as you know where you stand and you're standing on solid ground when you send this out or when you go to our website and download the documents, whatever you want to do. And I, we're doing this so as to try and help people become much stronger in their standing. Because there will come a call. One day, there will come a call for you to come and stand. Because we've had a guts full of this. Maybe thinking we've actually had enough of these lunatics, these communists, these globalists. We've had enough. And if we don't stop it soon, there won't be any stopping it. So sooner rather than later. So you need to be stronger in here. Sooner rather than later. And this is why we bring this information to you. So let me share something that I don't know that you've actually seen before. I'm pretty sure you haven't. All right, let's get this up. Let's get that up there. All righty. Has the time now come for the reformation of the Commonwealth of Australia? This is the lawful house of the Parliament of the Commonwealth as per Chapter 1. Not that uni United Nations bloody disaster up on the hill. And uh, this is the Parliament of the Commonwealth. But it's vacant. The Parliament is vacant. Now, you've seen this before. The Parliament of Australia, that's a corporation. The Australian Electoral Commission, it's another corporation. The Australian Taxation Office is not even a legal entity. It doesn't exist at law. It cannot sue, nor can it be sued, blah, blah, blah. You've seen all that before. But let's move on here. You see, the corporation is operating under the colour of law. And this is why most people are fooled by it. It's the mere semblance of legal right. So it, it looks right. Something done with the apparent authority of law. Oh, yes, we have the, we're, we're the authority. You'll do as we say. We're the government. We're the prime minister. You know, I'm the minister for shits and giggles, whatever. But it's in actually, it's in contravention of the law. And this is what I want to show you in a minute. Any act or law created beyond its lawful capacity of parliament is ultra vares, meaning has no effect. Fear and threats of punishment, these are the weapons of tyrants over their slaves. So let's have a look at this. What the hell am I talking about here? This is <clears throat> Statute Law Revision Act 1973. Number 216 of 1973's bills, an act for the purpose <clears throat> of statute law revision assented to on the 19th of December, 1973. And I'll add there unlawfully, but moving right along. Goff Whitlam, I mean, Goff Whitlam, this guy, what this man did now, hats off to him, highly, highly intelligent, incredible constitutional mind. The mind was, the bloke was a barrister, but he had the one of the best constitutional minds and this is why he was able to do what he did. What happened was he was just a bloody communist, an absolute communist who hated the Commonwealth. Labor man, you know, not, not unlike, uh, what's his name, Elbow Sleazy. Yeah, Elbow Sleazy. Yeah, he's a communist. <clears throat> Look at this. Now, I've plucked some sections out of that act. Commonwealth Police Act. 1975 to 66. Now, add at the, at the end of paragraph 6A the word and, omit from paragraph 6B and, omit, omit. Anyway, down the bottom, <clears throat> omit from subsection 3, territory of the Commonwealth, wherever occurring, 
and insert the territory. Omit from subsection four of the Commonwealth. So the Commonwealth Police Act took, the, 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 the politicians took the Commonwealth out of the Commonwealth Police Act. That's why they are the federal police and they have no authority on Commonwealth ground. Keep that in mind. It'll come in handy later. <clears throat> now, the AEC, you've heard me bang on about this lot. This is, out of that same act, omit from paragraph two, chief electoral officer for the Commonwealth, and insert chief Australian electoral officer. Hello, hello, hello. The Australian Electoral Commission, not the Commonwealth Electoral Commission. Omit from pages two, a Commonwealth electoral officer, so take that out, and insert an Australian electoral officer. Corporates, not under the Commonwealth. Corporates, thieves, rogues, fraudsters of the highest degree. If you vote in an election, you are participating in absolute treason and fraud. Period. End of story. Moving right along. I have to have another beer at this rate. The Copyright Act. <clears throat> Omit the definition of Australia and insert the following. Australia includes the external territories. From the definitions of law of the Commonwealth, omit territory of the Commonwealth and insert territory. Everywhere they're doing this, they're getting rid of the definition of Commonwealth so as to take that language out of the acts and the law and just people over time don't realize what's been going on these people goth whitlam and his communist mates and don't worry liberal could have turned it all around but no 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 they're just as bad do you know why because it's the united nations driving this and we pay them billions of dollars a year to play in their in their in their sandpit. Maybe thinking it's time to leave that little sandpit and get the hell out of Dodge too. Look at this. <clears throat> Omit from subsection three, member of a police force of a state or territory of the Commonwealth. So this is omit, right? The state or territory of the Commonwealth or a peace officer holding office under the peace officers act of 1925 and insert commonwealth police officer or member of a police force of a state or territory this is where they wiped out the peace officers this is why now what we've got is thugs and standover merchants wearing blue uniforms we don't have any peace officers or constables they are a member of the police force, state mili military, militia. Crimes Act, 1914. This is, this is good. This is just, this is kaboomba, right? Look at this. Crimes Act, 1914. As amended by the Crimes Act, 1973, continued section 65, omit from paragraph one, the great seal of the Commonwealth, and insert the great seal of Australia. Hello, hello, hello. Boom, baby. They literally took the seal out with the stroke of a pen. Unlawfully. Unlawfully. Do you get this? Do you understand? There's no nothing lawful behind state or federal politicians and the laws and the acts they pass. <clears throat> the Defence Act, repeal section four, omit the definition of airman and insert the following definition. Airman means a member of the Air Force other than an officer. From the definition of Australia, omit of the Commonwealth. Again, getting rid of the Commonwealth out of the Defence Force. Get it out of the police force, get it out of the federal police, 
Get it out of every every function of government. Get it out. Don't acknowledge it. Too bad it's still there. Too bad we're still here. Has the time now come for the reformation of the Commonwealth of Australia? There it is. The parliament is vacant. This is the lawful house of the parliament of the Commonwealth as per chapter one of the 1901 Constitution Act as proclaimed and gazetted under the lion and the unicorn non-copyrighted version. Get it right. Our website has a lot of the, this will be loaded up this week, but the document, it's 150 odd pages. Uh, that'll come up there later on on legal documents. But there's the address up there, www.ourtrueaustralia.com. And in the video section there, um, <clears throat> I've put links to all the YouTube clips of every prime minister uh, swearing his false oath or her false oath. And we've got the legal documents. There's a heap of them. There's some new FOIs in there. It's probably worth having a run through that just to, uh, <laughs> just to freshen up the mind a little bit. So thank you for watching this and stay tuned. We've got a lot of heavy hitting stuff coming. And there is, I know there's a bomb, I'm not going to say what the bombshell is, but I know there's a bombshell about the hit Anthony Albanese that will ricochet something fierce. It's coming and he has no escape from it. And the, the high court, the high court will be tested here because if, if the High Court fails, uh, they're done. They are literally, they will be done for sedition, at least, maybe even treason. So the Anthony Albanese bombshell that's coming is coming. And I'm expecting it within the next week to 10 days. So stay tuned, have fun, and remember, the call will come. Please be ready. Let's Let's get our country back. I've had a guts full of this. Catch you later. Oh, and by the way, have a beer on me. Ah, oh, that's good. See you soon.